Um, man, really excited about uh, the opportunity to go to Florida and play a really, really quality football team. It's uh, it, these games, just like uh, I said uh, a couple weeks ago, test you. They test you as a coach. They test your team. Um, the environment tests you. It's uh, and you know you're playing a quality opponent that is really well coached and very confident right now. That's uh, in the top 25 in the nation and really gets to, to test you. And you know, after watching last week's film, uh, again credit to uh, Derek Mason and, and his improving squad there. They're really they're really doing a nice job in a lot of areas, and he's going to do well. And he's uh, again a guy that we need in coaching. He's uh, that quality of an individual that, uh, that that people should want their kids playing for. Uh, we've got uh, things we need to improve on, just uh, like the week before that we'll address this week. Hopefully, get uh, get kids healthy and uh, get back ready to go for an exciting trip uh, down in Gainesville. All right, raise your hand. We'll bring the microphone to you. Uh, coach, don't take this as doubting you, okay? <laughs> I get doubted every day. But, but uh, I mean, you're just three years, four games. You're ranked higher than Ole Miss has been ranked since early '60s. And uh, you got to pinch yourself sometimes. Uh, I think society keeps you from pinching yourself. They, uh, you know, the the world of the uh, of the social media and instant gratification and, and fans that that uh, want you to be. Uh, what they what they perceive you should be every every day and every Saturday is, is sometimes uh, it, it keeps you from pitching yourself. You know, we started this journey like you said three and three years, three seasons, and four games ago. And you know, I wouldn't promise anyone anything then that that, that we could get done here other than you can expect us to have fanatical effort, great attitude about going to work to try to make this program relevant. Not only in the SEC but nationally, and you know, I would say for for a lot of us, the temptation when you uh, when you want something so badly, like our fans do, and like other universities fans do, um, sometimes we can get obsessed with with that, and and maybe steal some of the joy of the journey. And you know, I'm just I have to remind myself uh, every day that I have a purpose, and I have a calling. I don't have to guess what that is, and you know my, my purpose and my calling that I try to get our staff to understand, man, is to is to know God and to love people, and to use the platform and, and purpose that I have to impact and influence others, and that really helps me kind of stay centered and and enjoying the journey. You know, we are relevant, you know, right now, and I don't know if we're deserving of any ranking or. It's a long season and a lot of things can happen that you can't control, but I, I know that just I have friends right now going through difficult times that are in this profession, and a lot of it is based upon imperfect people wanting coaches and players to be perfect all the time, which probably, probably is not a reality um, because we're not perfect. And, um, and if you're not careful and you define yourself by that only, and you'll lose the, the joy in the journey. So if you ask me, do I have to pinch myself? Not really, but I sure am uh, blessed to, to have the job I have at the university I have it at and, and to work with the, the people that I get to work with and just try to remain focused on this is what you can control and this is who you are and what defines you. So that kind of keeps me, I don't know, you, you kind of got me on a soapbox this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that.